It was like any build-up to a big game. At 2.24, Liverpool fans are seen making the journey by foot from the station to the stadium. <laughs> Kickoffs in half an hour, and people are tightly packed at the turnstile entrance to the Lettings Lane Terrace. CCTV footage, which was being monitored by police that day, shows how the crowd outside was growing by the minute. Inside, the two centre pens of the terrace were packed, but people were in good spirits. But at 2.40, the first real sign that things were going badly wrong, with a young boy lifted clear from the crush. Superintendent Roger Marshall, who was a police officer in charge outside the ground, is clearly worried. He later said he feared fatalities could occur. Inside, everyone was heading to the jammed centre pens, despite there being plenty of room in the pens at either end of the terrace. 2.52, with the crowds building and kick-off drawing closer, the police made the decision to open the exit gate. Over the course of five minutes, 2,000 fans streamed through with most of them heading straight to the centre pens. And the match is on with Liverpool in red playing from... Just a couple of minutes into the game, it became clear something was wrong behind the Liverpool goal. It seems initially police thought it was a pitch invasion. But soon people were collapsing on both sides of the fence. At six minutes past three, police ordered the players off the pitch. But it still seemed they hadn't grasped the scale of the tragedy unfolding before their eyes. It wasn't until 12 minutes past three that the first medic, a St John's ambulance volunteer, climbed over the fence onto the terrace. By then, people had already died or were dying. At the back and front of the pen, supporters were trampled in the desperation. Others tried to get out however they could. Then, at 16 minutes past three, the first ambulance arrived pitch side. But that was already too late for 96 fans. <laughs>